the negative outcomes of Tarov is much, much more than its positive outcomes. Does Tarov ever help? Uh, I mean, is it ever has it is it ever a good thing? You know, it it seems like a night. You know, this extreme politeness, ritualized politeness that we have with each other on the face of it seems a very sweet thing. But do you ever see it actually uh, as a positive, uh, um, having a positive outcome in terms of the way we deal with each other? Oh well, sometimes it um, plays a positive role in terms of when you don't want to insult or you don't want to say something uh, um, directly as a result. I mean, uh, somebody is getting upset, you know, and um, on that, in this, in this occasion, I can see, but generally, let me put it this way. The negative outcomes of Tarov is much, much more than its positive outcomes yeah, yeah. you, you kind of don't because you don't know uh, where people actually stand i mean we talked about this before on this program but even the first first few times when i got into a cab with a iranian cab driver and they said oh, well, now that i was i mean mm -hmm. i was like okay really and then i realized that if i actually don't pay the guy he's gonna you know take a swing at me or something you know they don't know you know they want to be paid but we this weird kind of language that we use with each other yeah it's very strange yeah very strange yeah I do agree with you. So this is what I'm saying that rock, being rock, let's say, and kind of yeah, clarity and transparency is going to work more at the end of the day. Yeah. And we do, I mean, as a therapist, uh, as you referred to, we do have a cognitive distortion, which is called jumping to conclusion. Yeah. Okay. And jumping to conclusion is what you think about. I'm thinking what Jean is thinking about me. And right. what, what about his, right. yeah, what am I, your mind reading, let's say. So when we do use Tarov, I mean, mind reading, which is an example of jumping to conclusion, is highlighted, is increased, let's say. And we do think about each other. I mean, uh, when uh, I mean, wh when I'm, for instance, sitting, uh, when I'm uh, thinking about my relationship with you, when I'm at home alone, what did he mean by that? Right. Well, he, that, yeah, that, that would seem to be... And <laughs> why, he, why he said so, why he behaved, and this is... You know, it's uh, it paved the way for doing, you know, jumping to conclusion and mind reading, which could hurt our mental health and uh, pushing us towards unhealthy relationships, yes. which could affect our mental health in a destructive way. Yes. Yeah. If my um, neighbor who has... Uh, you know, been in Canada for generations as a Canadian, you know, English sort of uh, who's been here for generations says to me, oh, I'd love you to come over for a drink uh, sometime this week. I don't mm -hmm. necessarily question whether uh, he means that or not. But if if an Iranian says, oh, you must come over for a drink. <laughs> if you said that to me right <laughs> now, I would. You're right. I would after the conversation go, I. Uh, did he mean that or was that taught off or, you know, uh, should <laughs> yeah. I actually accept the invitation or would that be rude or, you know, yeah. I mean, it's, and, yeah. and that seems highly dysfunctional. Yeah. Was it real or unreal? Yes. <laughs> His or her invitation. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do agree with you. 